There's this incredible screen sharing tool that's helping me collaborate asynchronously, seamlessly. That tool is Komodo Dex. This is my first look where I share my initial impressions of the core features, so watch out for my full review. Komodo Dex is kind of like Loom, but different. Get Loom screen recording capability and combine that with the ability to create WikiHow style step-by-step -step guides as you record. Boom, you get Komodo Dex. Let's dive right in. Welcome to Komodo Dex. So as you can see, we're already recording this section of the video with Komodo Dex. And for this first impressions video, I only wanted to show you three core features. And the first one is screen sharing. And the second is screen sharing plus guides and the third is guides on their own so as you can see i'm sharing my screen right here it's pretty self-explanatory with their interface you get to toggle the camera on and off you get to turn the microphone on and off let me see tricks while i'm talking again i'm talking talking yeah me i hope it works i'll assume it works so here you also got the start recording button. You can pause recording. So if you want to skip a sec, I'm resuming recording. I just skipped a section right there. And you also have the ability to blur elements. So I can do this, just highlight that area right there. And that looks pretty clean, actually. Um, let's try that on something else. Hmm. Blur elements, stop adding blur. Click, click, stop clicking blur elements again. Huh. That doesn't seem to work. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Oh, there we go. That works. But for some reason, this does not... Oh. Oh, that's how it works. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't actually seem to be blurring it as much as it's adding a white box. While the blurring isn't functioning the way I expect it to, at least it's still serving the function of hiding information. I assume they're still iterating this feature. And now I'll try to hop between tabs. It seems like there's some kind of flickering going on, but that's okay. Komodo Deckception. I am now in a Komodo Deck recording my previous Komodo Deck. And the reason I'm doing this is because I wanted to show you the comments feature. I can leave a comment in a section of the video I just recorded. So let me do right let me do that right there. So huh, why is it red? And why has the cursor turned into a cross? Well, that's because I can highlight things, create a rectangle and click continue and say i do not like this title so you can annotate what you see on the screen using shapes and comments on a timeline can you imagine just going through videos that you need to review and leaving comments along the way for particular things on the screen this stuff is incredible so in this section i'll show you the recording or screen sharing plus guides feature. Okay, so right now we're in FeedHive, which is a social media automation tool. And what's happening now? What are these orange boxes? Well, Komodo Dex is picking up the actions that I'm taking. So for instance, I wanted to create a tutorial for how to use FeedHive. So I'm gonna click create post. And now that takes me here. Let me click this uh, box. What would you like to share? It's detecting that this is a post. And then I click schedule. Oh, it says at least one Instagram post. So I just want to get rid of Instagram and not share to Instagram for this video. Bam, it's gone. And I can click post now, but I won't do that because that is spammy. And again, I'm in a Komodo deck of my Komodo decks recording. So let's check that out. Do you see what's happening over here? Do you see that? There are these blue markers on the screen. If I go there, what happens? Let me click that. I'm clicking. Uh, there we go. What? What? What is happening? <laughs> Look at that. To the right, the instructions are right there in written form with screenshots of the exact action that was taken and it's clearly labeled. Okay, here maybe this is blank for some reason. So at the very least, you can rename that if it's blank. Um, I don't mind it being blank. Um, that's still fairly impressive. Um, this part isn't blank. So I assume it's um, trying to detect a variable or element, but it wasn't detected. So in those cases, you would just wanna put a label, but this is a tutorial that I can send to someone already. Wow. 
So for the third feature, guides only, I basically did the same thing I did in the screen sharing plus guides. I went through the same steps and this is the output that was generated from that. Look at this. So it's practically the same thing and you get bigger screenshots and you get this full page and oh my goodness, like I could rename this right here and say how to use Feedhive. That's an article. That is... <laughs> That is a tutorial. I, I can't believe this. So my initial impression of Komodo Dex is very positive. It does what it says it does, and it does it well. I can see myself using this not only in optimizing teams, but I could even use this to create an online course. My favorite thing they included is the cancel button. So many screen sharing tools don't let you cancel, so you waste storage or you waste time deleting those bad takes. My main friction point is that you don't get to choose your camera or microphone within the interface. So when I first launched it, Komodo Dex just kept saying that it couldn't detect my microphone for some reason. After maybe 10 minutes of tinkering around, I discovered that Komodo Dex uses your computer's default input as its own default input. I didn't know that at first. Maybe it wasn't the quick start guide, but if it was, I missed it. My default microphone is software, so maybe my settings are just weird compared to the vast majority of people. But it would still be nice to be able to choose your camera and microphone within the interface. Still, we've got lots more to cover. Komodo Deck still has a Mac OS app and a phone app, which we'll cover in the full review, which you will find right here when it's out. Eventually. Do you see it?